yet. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Yes, it's another Kevin's Rambles with these lovely people here. And we are up on Hindhead Common and the Devil's Punch Bowl. We're gonna do a video from up the Devil's Punch Bowl. I was here last year telling the tale of the uh, murdered sailor, the unknown sailor, which I think we're going back to his grave, so that'd be great. I'll link that below, that video below. But yeah, the weather is shocking. It's May in a couple of days, May. Two weeks ago, I think it was 21 degrees and I was in a t-shirt, but um, yeah, the weather's absolute crap. But we, we steamed ahead and had it, and we got a pub lunch over at the hotel afterwards, so uh, let's go. Doing. We're doing this for lunch. Which one? I think it's this one. The hidden trail is what we're doing. Here, love. How are we going to find it? Is this here for the first time? Anybody else for the first time? No. Is Angela here? Is Angela? Here? Yeah, it's Angela here. She, yeah, she's here. Good, good. <laughs> We're not going to pick on you at all. No, no, not at all. No, we've got ladies laughing. Did you? <laughs> stream. That's what we've got. We've got to find a stream or a style for you. <laughs> a lovely viewpoint. I've never been to the viewpoint before. So, also, I said this in my last video, the one link below. Um, it was a location for the Doctor Who 1970 story, The Silurians, with John Pertwee. They filmed all around the Devil's Punch Bowl. Is that right? Yes. Oh, right. Great story. You're a mind of information, I know. Mr. English. It's all coming out this morning, isn't it? <laughs> uh, the old road we used to go down, the old uh, Portsmouth Road. And look at this view, guys. Look at this view. Devil's Punch Bowl. Over the internet like yep. So we're heading over there towards the gibbet and the uh, grave. Oh, weather shh. Alright, okay. The logo, in case anyone gets yeah, yeah. left behind, it's the pink one. Yeah, the pink. Okay. Yeah. And not this one, that one. Yeah. Till we get to the gibbet. There we go. Okay. 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 You'll twist your hat. If you look round it, you can pick out the bits like the hands and the feet. With the sculpture. So this was part of the old London to Portsmouth Road on the A3, which I drove down many times when I was doing all the paranormal stuff down in Portsmouth. And seeing the construction of the Hindhead Tunnel at the time, around 2009, 10, 11, um, it was like a mini city. Really, really uh, interesting. Here's our group. There's a view. Okay. Yeah, the Hindhead Tunnel is underneath us here. Oh, this is yeah, the new one. Yeah. It's 60, 65 metres, 213 feet. feet. There's the Hindhead Tunnel. Highest point, yeah, highest point above the tunnel. Yeah. The tunnel below us, isn't it? Yeah. The A3, behind the tunnel. Another lovely view. Down to the, uh, down to the Hogs Back and London beyond. And here we are, the Sailor's Stone. Well, I was last year. Oh, yeah. Here is the stone itself, which was erected by a local landowner a few years later after the tragic murder in 1786, where a sailor was trying to catch his boat down in uh, Portsmouth, stopped off at a pub for a drink, befriended three guys and they eventually murdered him, took his clothes and his money. So his, his act of charity ended up in his murder. But the silence were caught and they were uh, gibbeted up on Gibbet Hill, which we'll show in a minute. But it's a really tragic tale, tragic tale. It is. And the ruffians were 
found in a in an inn in rake rake, rake yes yeah. Yeah. yeah i think it was yeah yeah that's quite a dramatic shot there of Jean behind the stone with the landscape behind you. It's really mm. quite dramatic. Mm. She, she can almost blend in with the green yeah. jacket. <laughs> There's a benchmark on the tomb, on the tombstone. 200, did you say 297? On the notice board, see what it says. Yeah, we've got to get our facts right. Uh, In about 1950, you'll notice inscribed the benchmark. Yeah, level 267 metres above sea level. Wow. But luckily we drove up today. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on Gibbet Hill. I'll say where I was last year. We're going just up there. There's Andrew with a moment of Murphy. There's Mark English. Oh, you, oh um, shit, just give you one. I know my way. Hey. Yeah. Looks like we've got it all to ourselves. I think we have, Andrew. Yeah, the trick point. So yeah, this is fantastic. This is a rare treat. Although, um, it's one good sign of good weather. It keeps all the crowds... It's actually 30 degrees when we were here last, uh, so, last yeah. year, last summer. Right, let's come around the camera and let's have a look around. There's a lovely view. Isn't that gorgeous? I think that's the hogs back over the back. And there's the trick point again. I shall trust. Although it's not very nice weather, the views aren't too bad. Probably lost a little bit on the GoPro. Here's the Celtic Cross, which was built on the site of the gibbet. They actually had a three-man gibbet on this part, with the uh, ruffians, as they were called, were melted in tar and hung up here for many years. Very gruesome. Imagine it's in the bleak midwinter, very bleak, and you come across that going down the old Portsmouth Road. Yeah, it says here the gibbet was nine metres high and designed to be a warning to high women and others with criminal intent. Okay, well. Yeah. Okay, we're going to be going right all the way down the valley, then back up again. So we're going to be quite a steep ascent, a des descent, and ascent. So uh, I don't like gravity, but hey, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. It's not too bad. Not really much rain, which is good. The shadow. We got the sun coming out. And this, we're trying not to slip up here because it's very, very wet. It's all, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> got some mud. It's the cabin's wall. We've got to have some mud. Oh, absolutely. Come to a little bit of a fork at the bottom of the hill. And uh, the sun's come out. Isn't that lovely? Oh, sort of. God's a gentleman. Look at that. He was helping the edge down that slippery bit. Ah. Oh. Your mum would not have got down there. No. <laughs> Look, do as you're told. Kevin had his orders from Cynthia. Follow the signs, Kevin. Yes, do as you're told. Follow the signs, Kevin. <laughs> what Cynthia says, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Straight on. Um. Yeah, the Devil's Punch Bowl turned out very nice. But hardly any rain, which we were worried about. That's why we're keeping the waterproofs on just in case. A bit of a nice stroll. Um, little story. I had to pay for parking because my National Trust membership. Um, ran out last month and I've not I've, I cancelled it actually last year reason being I did a video from a property and then I got a rather shirty email from the National Trust saying you're not allowed to video here uh, can you remove your video although I actually asked permission beforehand and they said yes it was fine so I cancelled my membership 
So playing for parking, which I probably could have parked free somewhere else, um, in the National Trust car park on a Sunday was six pounds. So, uh, yes, National Trust, I've been a member for many, many, many years, is no more. Sorry. Good filly. Yeah, Temple of the Four Winds. The site known as Temple of the Four Winds was part of yeah, the Whitley Estate until 1955. Um, it's got compass directions of four. four directions. Okay. Oh, I see. Of course, yeah. This was built in 1910 by a Viscount of the area. Temple of the Four Winds. Or well, yet, the remains of. I didn't know this was here. I thought it was just a viewpoint. This is well old. It's only 1910. Not that That's old. still old. That's when my theatre was built. <laughs> and you've got a lovely view out there. Actually, it reminds me of a transporter pad in Star Trek. Beam me up, Scotty. Yeah, he never said that. Sustainable uh, method of woodland management. That is absolutely Coppicing. right. Yep. And there we have a bill hook, which I've still got my father's at home. Oh, have you? Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah. I've also got his axe that he used to cut chestnut. I've also got his brake adds, which splits the chestnut into, into sections to make power legs for fence, fences. Oh. Yeah. I'm really impressed with that. Yeah. And I used to love going out in the woods with my dad. Oh, wait. Look. Lovely bluebells. Bluebells. Just some bluebells, that's all. <laughs> Just stopping for some bluebell watching. Bit of lovely old iron post. It's lovely, isn't it? You find at the end of a track. Yeah. Oh, that's that's lovely. lovely. Sorry, I'm in the way. That's lovely. The sun keeps peeping out at times, but here's a lovely little sort of lake. I don't know if it's a lake or just a dew pond that's got a little bit too much water in due to rain. Um, yeah. Murky. There you go. More bluebells in the. Uh, Yeah. Cattle yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Uh, but I don't. So there is a reason why. You'll have to Google it. Pardon? You'll have to Google it. Yes, yes. Google? What the? Where are you going? Come on, you're around. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, see, that's a bit like a guild. You just take a diversion. <laughs> Sun keeps popping out, um, which is nice. Let's follow Jean. Corinne Jean, who's stripped off slightly. So she's a saucy mare and we're going to go up we're going to heading back up we're more than halfway through and um head back up into the common they're slacking in the background so we're heading back up towards the common up to the common Looking at the skyline over there, we're about halfway up. I imagine it's going to be a bit of a steep climb because we seem to be going down now, but we're on the right trail, so it's fine. Hindhead Common, the Devil's Punch Bowl. Nice little house at the end of the uh, Coombs Well. It is Coombs Well at the bottom of the uh, trail. So I'm actually parking in, so very nice. I think there's a stage where we start really start climbing back up now. Does it start to rain a bit again? That's why I'm shooting on the GoPro because it's waterproof. Go past. 
need a full bottle. It's going to be me smoking down at Steep track at driver's risk. We have here Beach Cottage. It's not, is it? They're lying. The lovely views they have out onto the uh, common. Sort of houses around here. Now I think we're on the home run. I'll be going back up to the common near the car park, I believe. It turned out a really pleasant walk this and the weather hasn't been too bad. Thank you so much. That's all right. <laughs> I'm glad you come back. You're too glad you know you, you knew your job. That's great. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's all right. I think that's another drover's road. Soon it's time for a pub lunch. Sunday roast. Nice little bench here in memory of Harold Moorish. Harold Moorish. Oh, let's take a quick breather with that gorgeous view. Yeah, well, that must be an old drover's road, definitely. Yeah, there's the pathway. It goes up here, it's not there. Yeah, all right, so it's still a walking trail. Yeah, you can just see that's different to that, isn't it? Yeah. I'll meet up at Haskell. Um, I'm off on Thursday this week. The off weather doesn't look brilliant. It, it doesn't look brilliant, no. Yeah, but something like that you probably need to have a, a reasonable day. Yeah. Because it's a week worth our eating. but four miles on the road. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we are. I'll do a little curtsy. <laughs> so we're back at the car park. National Trust property, six pound to park here on a Sunday. Maybe I should have kept my membership. Um, <laughs> and um, it's been a great little walk, a bit windy. Uh, rain's not been too bad, has it really? Not been too bad at all. So uh, we're gonna just round everybody up and, uh, and go for a Sunday lunch. It'd be lovely. Everybody's back together, I think. No. This one, the car's to. coming. Uh, Trace, as usual, is always missing from the Indies. Yeah, what's Yeah, she's in a cafe. Oh, right, cool. <laughs> yeah. And Louise, I guess, has gone home. So, everybody, thank you very much for turning up on what is not been a bad day, actually, weather-wise. Um, we're supposed to be getting rain, and we haven't got rain, which is good. So, looking forward to the next one is... Chidham. Chidham, thank you, Jean. I knew I could Hello, Jean. somebody. <laughs> But we are going to try and find out a route for there and somewhere to park. Because there's only a five, yeah, I think so. So anybody, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well done, Liz. Yeah, well done, Liz. Oh, car coming. No, I wasn't. I was just saying thanks very much. Um, thank you, Kevin. You're very welcome. You want to go and have a coffee? We will. Before uh, Sunday so, lunch. Sunday lunch, yeah. Uh, please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff we do on this YouTube thingy. That's it. I always forget to say that. Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we'll see you, we'll see you in the pub in a minute. Yeah, absolutely, mate. All right, yeah. bye. Cool. Say goodbye. Oh, Angela. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think they're at the Hound and Hill at the Hound and Hill yeah. pub. The Hound and Heather, thank you, Laura. The Hound and Heather pub, which is part of the um, Punchbowl Hotel. Punch Hotel, which I've passed so many times. Yeah, they managed to get us in a bit earlier, so um, yeah, it's been great. Yeah. Side Heather and Trailfish Pie. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I 
That's not bad. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Cheers. 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 Cheers.